So today we're going to take a brief look at the Mini Ray 3000. So we have one here and the Mini Ray light and maintenance of the PID lamp and sensor. Now if you start to get issues with uh, wandering readings, high background readings or contamination on your lamp of your unit then there's a few things that you can do. So first off is replace the filter. That's the most common source of uh, high background readings and contamination. So that needs to be replaced on a fairly regular basis. Now, regular is how long is a piece of string, to be honest. It depends on its exposure and how much contamination is actually on the PID um, sense, well, the PID's filter. So the other thing, if that's been replaced and you're still having high background readings, then you can remove this here, which I've already done on this unit and behind it you will have a PID sensor block and the PID lamp. Now both of which need cleaning and making sure they're in good condition. So let's start with the sensor block. So the sensor block, as you can probably see here, if I zoom you in a moment, let's just focus you. So the sensor block consists of electrodes well, two electrodes, one positive bias and one of negative bias. Now, both of these need to be absolutely spark and clean and not bent out of shape. Um, if they're bent out of shape and touching the PTFE sides, then you'll get uh, leakage of current and you'll get false readings. So, if these are dirty, they need to be cleaned. Now, you can't do this by just getting cotton bud and wiping it. What you need to do is get HPLC grade methanol so that's high purity methanol, and this needs to be soaked in a little beaker of methanol and sonicated. Now the whole thing can go in the beaker, it's not a problem, and just sonicate it for five minutes. Now what that will do is get rid of any moisture or dirt from the actual um, sensor block itself. Once that's been done, it just needs to be left to dry. The other thing to do is we have a PID lamp here. Now, the face of the lamp never touch unless you're wearing uh, nitrile gloves because uh, it's made out of a material which uh, your sweat basically will degrade it. So you can touch the sides of a lamp because that's made out of porous and okay glass which is not a problem, you can touch that. So if we want to clean this, yet again um, we use HPLC grade methanol and we get a little cotton bud, we dip the cotton bud in the methanol and we wipe around the face of that lamp in a circular motion to get rid of any contamination. Once that's been done, you let that dry and you literally take it once it's dried and we put it back, in, yeah, if, if I can, we put it back in the unit. Now, remembering not to touch the face of the lamp with your fingers. Now, this is my demonstration unit, so I'm not too worried, so I'm just gonna push it in like that. Say I've cleaned this, it's fully dried, we take that and we replace it back in. So sense block is replaced and we replace the rest of the housing. <coughs> and we screw it back up. Now once this has been done, we're now um, have maintained PID. The other thing to do is check seals and grommets. Now you would have seen a few black rubber seals, just need to make sure they're not degraded. Um, this now needs to be calibrated once it's been cleaned. So please go and see our calibration procedure uh, video. Okay, thank you very much.